alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you teachers? How are you students? Are you fine? I'm Jana Ahmed Abdul Sadiq and today we will talk about mathematics in uh, terms on the right angle triangles. So this topic, actually I will not make uh, it long because I will take the main points only and you will solve the examples or you will solve the examples like whatever you want you can bring in the additional exercise and to solve it but i will show you how to solve it by the formulas for each of the terms okay so today we will talk about equilates term and Pythagoras term equilates term it will be b squared is equal to c times c1 did you understand it no yes because it's without the figure so let us to think the figure how it will be and we will draw it so the figure it will be like a right angle triangle no problem and here the high now we have the figure okay now we have the figure but first thing we will solve about the equilates term how we will like think that it here it will be a b c capitals and here d okay but now we will, we will think that here a small b small h small here c small and here c small but here c1 and here c2 and all of it it will be C. Now, after that, how will we solve it? The correct term. I told you before that it will be A squared is equal to C1 times C. C1 times C. How is that? Because we make B squared, we make it B squared times C, this place times the C capital okay like how here equal term have like three formulas or more for each of the shape here or for each of the angle or the length have formula like B B squared is equal to C1 times C capital or the full that means A B or in another way we can say that a c a c squared is equal to a d a d times d b times uh, i mean a b because all of the c a b Okay, that means a squared is equal to ad times ab. Or in another form, a squared is equal to b times c. Or b. Because here we saw it like ac, it is from here to here. And cb is from c to b a. That means a squared is equal to c2 times c capital. All of this. Now, if we think that here, if we have um, like x, okay, we have unknown variable. And we have here four, and we have here six. We have we have also here and uh, and now that means it will be y. Okay, so now we have that b it is unknown, a is unknown number, but we have c one it is four, and c two it's six, but we don't know also a b how much it is. That means. It will be 4 plus 6, 10. That means C it is equal to 10. Now after that, we will make the formula. We will simplify, uh, we'll simplify it uh, simplify it by the formula. That's B squared is equal to C1 times C. That means here, AX is equal to 4 times <clears throat> 10. It will be 40. But we have what? X squared. That means X, uh, X squared and 40. It will be 20. Because we make radical 40 
Is equal to 20. That it will be the answer. Okay? For the first one. The second one, if we want to find A, that means it will be Y squared is equal to C2 times C. Okay? And C2, what we have? 6. That means Y squared is equal to 6 times 10. So that 6 times 10, it will be 60. And we have Y squared. Then we make it radical. If you, if you want to like make it uh, perfect or non-perfect. Or you can uh, like um, left it out of this. Okay? So now that was like how to find. But also there is another formula for the high. That if high, it's unknown number. It's unknown number than that. What we will use? We'll make h squared is equal to c plus c1 plus c2. Okay? That means. But now that was about equal to c1 squared plus c2 squared for h. That was for equal to term. But the next one it will be the Pythagorean theorem, and it's more easy than Euclid theorem. That let us to draw the figure again. The next one it will be the Pythagorean theorem. We will draw an anger but we will, we will not draw the height here we will draw a hypotenuse what means hypotenuse here it's always c the opposite side for hypotenuse it's the particle stem that means particle stem is uh, the formula it is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared that it is a formula for particle theorem. That means if, uh, if the hypotenuse is here, that means here it will be c squared. And here a squared and here p squared. That it will be. But if if it was here, the particle the hypotenuse, that means here it will be the c squared. The c squared and here will be the b squared. Because C squared is always opposite to the hypotenuse squared. I mean to the hypotenuse. Okay? This was the formula for particular term to identify how to solve it because some of the students are thinking that if the uh, right angle came to them without any hypotenuse, then how they will find the C squared or how to put the place of C squared where? Here or here or here. So it must be given the hypotenuse because to see where is the c squared now if we have now uh, like uh, working by numbers Here, in place of s squared and p squared, here it will be 2 and here it will be 4. But c squared, we don't know. It's unknown. So be x. Okay? So then it will be here what? c squared is equal to s squared plus b squared. s squared is equal to 2 squared. Here c squared, of course. 2 squared plus 4 squared. 2 squared is to be 4 plus 4 squared, it will be 16. And here it will be c squared. 4 plus 16, it will be 20. 20 and here c squared. Then we we'll make it radical because radical by radical, of course, we will cut the square, the 2 by radical because if it's radical, uh, it's alone. That means it's have 2 here, but we are not writing it. Okay? But there is also here 3, like it's the cube. If it's there, that means if it's here 3, we will cut 3 by 3. That it is. So, but we are not in cubed, of course, we are in uh, uh, radicals, that's by square. So, it can be the final answer, 
or you can make it perfect and non perfect to complete the answer okay that was but what if like uh, a squared is unknown and c squared we have two squared okay but we don't have here anything but a it's uh, a squared is equal to x and c squared is equal to two squared we will make it the same thing but only in different only in something it will be different here that's the same c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared but in place of c squared we'll put two squared is equal to what a squared that's it's unknown to be a x squared plus four squared then we we can't make plus uh, x squared plus four squared so we make what shifting four squared to two squared and x squared will be alone so that means what it will be our shifting x here and bring it to here that means four squared what it is 16 and two squared four so that means shifting to 16 it will be 16 minus 4 uh, it will be 12 after that we'll make 12 here radical because x squared is equal to x squared is equal to 12 radical here radical to cut by the radical and x is equal to radical 12 you can also make it perfect and non perfect or to continue the answer but this is the main answer okay so that was an easy topic about equality theorem and particle theorem that there are different and also there is something that you can work the both terms in the same figure it's like giving it's like giving a big one that if it is like for example i'm drawing anything okay here like this like this Okay, and we have here the hectares. Okay, we have nothing here, but we have here a squared, and we have here two squared, and here we have three squared. Okay, after that, you can make it like what here the high. After the high. We have here what B or uh, you can make it by that C C and here 4 okay it's anything like for an example to practice on it first thing we will we'll solve this one that it will be what a squared c squared 2 squared of course we know that 3 squared it's in place of c squared so 3 squared is equal to 2 squared plus a squared that means here is 3 squared it will be 9 is equal to 4 plus a squared then chasing 4 to 9 it will be 9 minus 4 9 is the biggest because it's the positive and 4 is uh, negative so it's small so we will take the positive one it will be uh, 5 is equal to a squared but of course we make squared and here squared is the radical 2 will cut be by the radical and the radical 5 you can keep it alone radical 5 okay so after that here the answer to be radical 5 but if here we have 4 and we have c alone and we have here the high what we can do we know that 2 squared is equal to what uh, is equal to 4 so that means 4 plus 4 all it will be eight okay but i think like it's not be familiar with that because uh, it's any shape but of course we can use both of the terms in one shape i will bring another examples for it inshallah i will bring another examples for it to solve about it and we make more and more examples then you will be tired so after that uh, this is the main point terms and equalized terms be careful about that why is they named equalized theorem and pythagoras theorems actually pythagoras and equaloid it's a name for the scientists and 
person that make it, that make the formula. Ecolite was uh, the father of geometry. And Ecolite was an uh, astronomy and a uh, music and also. He like uh, created the formula for the Pythagorean style and he named it the Pythagorean style. That it is what? Can you remember it? Of course, Pythagorean it's C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. But Ecolite style that's have more formulas. That's what the main two point the main two uh, formulas what it is? B squared is equal to C1 times C. Then A squared is equal to C2 times C. Okay? And also the high is equal to what? High is equal to C1 uh, squared plus C2 squared. Okay? So now that was our topic and about how to solve by the formula. I only like let you to know the formulas because uh, inshallah in another video I will bring another another examples and more examples and we'll solve it together and we know the answers is actually so inshallah be ready and prepare yourself for the exams okay goodbye